organization? Are we talking of the government, and in the Philippine case, rebels as well? Or are we talking about the international community? This is where globalization comes in pretty handy. We are moving different levels of analysis. Okay? Can use these. Now, <clears throat> in sociological perspective, there are three ways by which you can look at the world. Number one is hegemonic rule. So we have consent uh, that we give to our government. Second is there's conflict. There's also opposition. And the view is not from the top, but from the grassroots. And then there are the narratives, storytelling. That's the interactionism. So I think for Western uh, mind, Storytelling is a very powerful tool, but if you watch Philippine movies compared to Hollywood and French movies, uh, it's very different in the sense that in Hollywood, even if they talk of Nicaragua or Chile, there's a love story in, in the middle. You have to look at the whole thing from the eyes of a specific journalist who fell in love with a woman, like, okay, why is that in there for Filipinos? Or for the Western mind, you need that, or else like it's too big. But Filipinos need to look at the big picture and then situate the person. So it, it's one way is macro to micro, the other is micro to macro. Know your market. And then do you need storytelling? Put that in if they need it, the individual perspective. Okay, some would say, well, human nature is um, uh, naturally good, some would say it's bad. Others say it's both. On the safer side, 